Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Worship Drumming. This is a channel where I do popular worship tutorials on the drums, as well as I do drum lessons based around a worship-centered context, just like today's lesson. Now, today's lesson is basically the key to learning how to play drums. This is very, very important for people who are just starting off. This is the biggest key to learning how to play drums the drums and it's super simple and we're going to go through it and talk about how we can apply it during a song. So let's kind of start with the video by saying this as we get into it. Whenever you're listening to music, there's obviously different changes and transitions going on the whole time. You got, you know when you're in the verse, you know when the song's in the chorus, you know when the song's in a bridge, there's all these things going on. Now usually the lyrics can help us figure out where that's at, but if we take away the lyrics, the music itself, the instruments, are able to help us know where we are at, and the drums are a big driving factor. We're not gonna be talking about transitioning the parts, that goes along with fills and stuff, with the, which is a video I just made a couple weeks ago, you can go check that out. But this is mainly going to be how we dictate the feel of where we're at in the song. When you're listening to a song, you have that really light feel, like you're in a verse, or you have that really powerful feel, like you're in a bridge, or you have that really big open feel, like you're in a chorus. There, I'm gonna show you guys how you can do all of that super simple with this one quick lesson. So let's go ahead and move the camera and we'll get into this a little bit more. To get into this lesson, I wanna give you guys just a simple backstory that's really gonna help explain a lot of this lesson. Whenever I first started off drumming, this maybe had been, I don't even think I've been playing drums for a year yet, but I got asked to play drums at this church camp with some of my, some of my friends and I ran this church camp and uh, they asked me to play the drums for it, so I did. And I remember whenever the band was warming up, I was playing this groove, this simple little beat, and the person who was playing guitar came over to me and was like, hey, that's actually that actually sounds really cool what you're doing. Like, what are you doing there? So I just showed him what I was doing because he was interested in playing drums maybe later in the future. So what I noticed though is a lot of the time that I would play this beat, people would tell me that they really liked it or they thought that it sounded really cool. And the thing was, is it was so simple what I was doing that I was kind of surprised that people actually thought that it, it sounded really cool. So I'll show you what I was doing and then this is gonna help us just dive into this whole lesson. Here's the beat I was playing. Now you're like, that is honestly super simple. And it is super simple. Now I kind of talked about this in my Phil's video that playing drums doesn't have to be all these really complex, fast things that you're doing. You can take simple things and make big changes with those simple things. Today what we're gonna be talking about is moving our hands and kind of our foot a little bit and how we can keep doing the same thing but just move those around. So if you noticed all that beat was that I just played there on the floor tom was the standard beat everyone first learns on the hi-hat, kick, and snare. So it's this beat right here. Real simple, eighth notes on the hi-hat, kick on one and three, snare on two and four. Everybody learns this beat whenever they are first starting out. So all I did to change the feel of that was I just took my right hand off the hi-hat and I moved it over here to the floor tom and I just played that same beat. My right hand is the only thing that changed and whenever you listen to the two side by side, you can hear how it just gives it a completely different feel. So let me go ahead and show you what that would sound like real quick. So you can hear how one more sounds like you're playing a verse and another more sounds like you're kind of playing like a powerful bridge or something. And all I had to do was change what my right hand was playing. So that's, that's going to be the main takeaway of this lesson is if you want to learn how to change the feel of a song, all you got to do is change what your right hand's doing. Maybe you hear those people and this is, this is why I kind of started to learn this is I would hear people play these really awesome Tom grooves and worship songs and it would have this really awesome, powerful feel to it. I was like, how are they doing that? Literally, most of the time, all they're doing is just taking their right hand off the hi-hat or wherever it's playing, and then they're just gonna play it on the floor tom as the eighth notes. And that's literally all it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this simple beat 
and I'm going to move it around and I'll put at the bottom of the screen kind of what, like what part of the song I'm thinking of that I would be in when playing this. I'm going to keep the kick on one and three, snare on two and four. I'm only going to change what the right hand's doing. And you're going to see how much this changes the feel of what I'm playing. Now I know I had some fills and some builds in there, which I have lessons on both those two things if you wanna go check those out, but really would help change the feel of the beat as well is just where I was playing my right hand or my dominant hand, what was being consistent throughout the beat. So I could play it on a closed hat, an open hat, a ride cymbal, a floor tom, and it just gives it a completely different feel each and every time. So that's the first thing. If you ever want to make it feel like a big chorus, hop up there to that ride cymbal. Maybe you want to hold off and you want it to be a big chorus and whenever you get to the last chorus, then move it over to the ride cymbal. Maybe when you get to a bridge, it's got a real nice powerful message and it's got like, and it, ha it has a real powerful feel with all the other instruments, then start playing your floor tom as your constant. If you're just chilling out in a verse and it's just real soft and simple, play it on the hi-hats and you can just do that same beat and all you're doing is just moving what that right hand plays. The next thing is going to be the exact same thing just with our left hand this time. So maybe you know some cool patterns where your left hand plays the snare drum. Go ahead and just take that and move that around. Let's go ahead and take a simple pattern that a lot of people learn at first and I say simple, sorry if this isn't simple to you, I will teach it real quick as we go through it. So I'm gonna take this pattern. That's eighth notes on the hi-hat, kick drum on one and three. Your left hand plays the snare drum on beat two, the uh of two, the e of three, and beat four. So it's one and two and a three e and four. One and two and a three E and four. One and two and a three E and four. But that's all it is. It's just simple, that simple beat there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply both of those at the same time. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it in the pocket, then I'm gonna change what my right hand's doing, and then I'm gonna start changing those accents. You'll you'll totally hear and be able to feel how the song changes. And you notice what I did with those accents is I still kept the snare on two and four and I just played all those little in-between accents on the toms. You can move those two and four, you can move those onto the floor tom. You could throw it on the hi-hat. Literally, there's so much you could do with this. I, I just don't have enough time in one video because I could sit here and go on for days and days on how all you gotta do is take a pattern between the hi-hat, kick, and snare and then just start moving it around. I'm gonna just take the snare off two and four now and I'm just gonna start throwing it on the toms and you can hear how just doing that is gonna start to also change the complete feel of this. So 
you can hear how sometimes I kept the snare on four, sometimes I took it off of two. There is just so, so much you can do. So hopefully you can hear how just by doing, applying both those techniques we just talked about, changing what the right hand plays and changing what the left hand plays, but keeping the same pattern, you can hear how that just starts to change the feel of what we're doing. But I never change the accent pattern between the foot and the snare and the right hand. I still played this same thing. All I did was change where the right hand was playing and what the left hand was doing. So that is the main takeaway of the lesson. I am gonna throw in one more thing real quick and we can sort of change what our foot is doing as well, but we're gonna not necessarily talk about all these cool different accents we can do with it. Um, the main thing is you can think about just start putting it with four on the floor. So if I am playing a B or, you can, or if you're playing in six eight, you can do six on the floor. So all you're doing is you're just gonna play that kick drum on every single quarter note, um, maybe to give the song a more powerful feel. So I'll show you how if I'm playing in a, a chorus or something and then I go down to the bridge, how adding that four on the floor can help give it more of a powerful feel if I'm playing like a bridge that's on the floor tom and stuff. So guys, that is it. That is a great way, especially if you are just starting off to play the drums. This is a great way to learn how to play a variety of different songs, which is just, you know, getting that change and that feel of what is happening. If you're in the verse, if you're in the chorus, if you're in the bridge, it is just a great way, easy and simple. Go practice this. And I promise you, if you haven't already started doing this, you, this is going to completely change the way you see the drums and the way that you play the drums. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that this helped you out a lot. Please go ahead and subscribe below if you're interested in more content like this in the future. Leave a thumbs up if you learned something new and leave any comments or questions you have below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.